Now we've covered upload care before on Code Course, but if you don't already have an account, head over to uploadcare.com, go ahead and create an account, and you should land over in your dashboard. So here I have a project that we use for codecourse.com to upload profile images. But of course, what we're gonna be doing is creating a new project uh, specifically for what we're building here. So you want to create a new project and go ahead and give this a name. So I'm gonna call this awesome image. And our project is created. We can start using our keys and we can go ahead and pull in the PHP library to get this all working. So we can use this either as a widget or we can go ahead and pull in the upload care PHP library, which makes our lives a lot easier. This will allow us to generate all of our widget code for us. It will allow us to upload to their content delivery network. And then we can look at actually pulling images back using this library as well. So the first thing we want to do is just pull this into our project. So we have it ready. So we're going to do a composer require on upload care and then it's upload care hyphen PHP. This will go ahead and download this and we're ready to use it. Now, because we are using a framework, we want to create a provider for this, much like the providers that we've already seen here for Twig and Doctrine. Now, if we go over to the documentation, we can actually get a good idea about how we would use this. So I'm heading over to the PHP section just under tutorials. So we've already pulled this in, we already have it included because we're pulling in auto load already. And this is how we create a new instance of the library. Now we don't want to just do this anywhere because we don't want it floating around. And that's where the service provider just comes in. So we can create a providers directory just over here to store this in. And we are going to create an upload care provider. So let's go ahead and create an upload care provider.php file. Let's just rename this and we can start to lay out the uh, service provider. So obviously the first thing we want to do is give this a namespace. So it's going to be under AI and providers. And we then want to create a basic service provider. So we're going to use Silex application because we're going to receive an application instance into the methods we're going to create in here. And we will pull in the contract for our service provider or the interface for our service provider. So this is just Silex service provider interface like so. And we create a class here called upload care provider. And that of course implements this service provider interface. Now, if we check out this service provider interface, you can see that we require a register and a boot method. And both of these will receive the application instance into them. So let's go ahead and create these now. So we have a register method and this receives an application. Like so, and we have a boot method. So let's create this now. And again, this receives our application instance. Now we're not going to be touching the boot method. We're interested in the register method. So if you're wondering why are we even doing this? Well, remember over here when we pulled in our Twig service provider, this allowed us to do things like app Twig, the same for Doctrine Deval where we uh, access this using app DB. We're gonna do exactly the same thing, but allow us to access upload care. So inside of here then, we want to say app upload care, and this is going to be app share and we're going to create our closure here. We're going to use app just in case we need that. And in here, we want to do pretty much what's on the documentation. So return a new upload care API instance. And we just do this like so from in there. Now the documentation over on upload care is clever enough to grab our public and our private keys for us. But just so you know, if you go over to your dashboard, over to the project that you're working on, this is your public key and you can go ahead and show your private key. So these two here are what we place into here. So now that we've done this, we are ready to go. We can start to use this as long as we register our service provider. So to register our service provider, we know that we just do app register. And here we want a new AI providers and then it's our upload care 
provider like so. So we can test this out just from in here. If we go and kill the page here and do a var dump on app upload care, we should see if we head over to the browser and what we haven't done is prefix this with a backslash. So because we're working under a namespace, we just either need to import this at the top or just go ahead and add a backslash just there. And now we see our upload care API object and we can start working with this uh, exactly how we need. Great. So if you've worked with upload care before, you'll know that we can pull in some JavaScript and start to work with the widget. Now, when we use the PHP library, this makes it even easier to get started with. Now, one thing to know is that within Silex, when we use our Twig service provider, this will share our application instance with all of our views. And what this means is that when we do a normal output within Twig, we can actually use app to grab any of our loaded dependencies within our container using app within our view. So we can say something like app upload care, which we've already created a service provider for and shared. And then we can say dot widget get script tag. And we want to use a twig filter to output this as raw or this will automatically escape it. So all this is going to do then is if we just view the page source here, it will just pull in first of all our public key as a global variable and it will pull in the script that we need to run the upload care widget. So really easy and straightforward to do directly within our view there. So I do want to set up a couple of other upload care uh, settings and you can go ahead and find these if you need to do anything else over in the documentation under widget. And if you go over to configuration, you can see that you can either set these as a global variable or you can set them as local attributes. Now, because we're using the PHP library, it makes much more sense to set these as global. So what I want to set is upload care live to false. This just helps during development. Of course, when you are live, you can go ahead and set this to true. And we want to set upload care images only to true because we are building an image upload project and we only want images to be uploaded. And we're going to set the cropping settings for upload care. Now I'm going to set crop to free, which means that when someone uploads an image, they can freely crop it however they want. And that's pretty good. So now that we've done this, we're literally ready over on our home view to output the widget. And then we can just see if it works. So to do this, then we do a similar thing. We use app, which is global within our views. We say upload care widget get input tag this time and then we can give this a name so in this case i'm going to call this file id and this is just how we pick this up when we go ahead and post so again we want to make sure this is raw or we'll be escaping the uh, output and now over on our home view we should see our widget so if you go ahead and give this a click you should see your upload care dialog open and you can go ahead and upload images from any of these sources and of course what you can also do is drag images onto here as well so we are going to be styling this up just to make it look a little bit nicer according to the style of the site that we're building but with that done we now have upload care pulled in and we're actually ready to move on to the next part where we're going to be focusing on uploading images by choosing these within this widget and of course we'll uh, take the time to style this out as well so let's go over to the next part where we'll look at getting images actually uploaded.